welcome to another tool tip. I will show you a commonly overlooked property of the second life avatar. The UV layout of this character is not at all fixed. Actually the UV layout changes significantly with the shape values, so let me demonstrate what I mean. This is a default avatar in second life. And note, here is no custom mesh involved, this is just a simple default avatar. I created a UV test grid for its skin to demonstrate our finding. Look how the torso distorts when I switch to the male shape. When we do the same in Blender on the exact replica of the second life avatar, then we actually see the same distortions. But, this is not a big surprise. Well, male and female avatars use the same meshes. But the male's upper body has a very different shape, so its vertex locations have been moved significantly. On the other hand, we still use exactly the same UV mapping for male and female shapes, and therefore we get visible distortions when we switch the gender. But Second Life has a surprise for us. Shortly after you saved your changes, you see that the distortions on the character are gone. This happens when you zoom out and zoom in, or when you log out and get back later. So, any time when the textures are rebaked, some magic happens and removes distortions. So, the good news is, the quality of skins and texture-based clothes gets improved a lot. And since this is an automated process, there is absolute nothing to be done here as long as you create skins and texture-based clothes only for the Second Life avatar. But, there are also bad news for mesh creators, the automatic rebake of textures is not carried over to your own custom mesh characters. So if you want to keep compatible with Second Life skin textures, and you also want to improve the texturing of your model, then you need to modify your UV layout manually. I will demonstrate now how you can do this with very little effort, I will use plain Blender 2.68 for this, but note, the results are only similar, and not exactly equal to the automated rebake in Second Life. So, first things first, we have to ensure that the UV layout keeps compatible to Second Life. Actually it is sufficient to ensure that the UV islands keep their shape. We can do this with no effort within the UV editor. Select the boundaries of the islands. And then pin them. This ensures that a subsequent UV unwrap will not affect the island shapes. However, this is an annoying task, so let me revert the pinning, and show you a nice little trick for easy selecting all island boundaries at once. While still within the UV editor, call the function, UVs, seams from islands. This function will create seams for all boundary edges. You can verify that by switching to the 3D view. Now, enable edge select mode, and select one single edge on any seam. Then navigate to, select similar seam. You can verify that now all seams are selected. Finally, switch back to the UV editor and enable, keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync. And now pin the selected UV vertices. However, a few edges remain not marked as seams, that is because no seams will be created at the mesh boundaries. Unfortunately I know no shortcut here, so I select these verts by hand. And then pin them like I just did with the seams. Now, you can just unwrap your modified mesh and in many cases the UV layout will improve a lot. But hold on, this improvement does not look very impressive, and that's because there is still another caveat here, that is, the mesh contains shape keys. In this case you either need to apply the shape keys first, or, you can make the unwrap tool aware of the shape keys. I found an easy way to do this is to create a new shape key as mix of all current keys. You keep the key value at zero, but make it the active key. And now, a subsequent UV unwrap works much smoother. If you like so, you can remove the shape key again after you made your unwrap. So, 
When you compare these results with what you get from Second Life, then you will see small differences. However, my method is not meant as exact copy of the Second Life process, but to provide an alternative workflow for improving your own character meshes. I believe that this method can be helpful for your work, and because of that, I have added this as a new option to Avastar, which now fully automates the Just Shown method and makes it a one-click feature. You can apply the tool at any time and to any mesh, and you will get a rebaked UV layout with compatible UV islands. And note, this is not limited to Second Life UVs. I also have placed the result into a separate layer, so you do not lose the original UV layout, and you can even compare it to the rebaked layout. So, now I'm at the end of this tool tip, I hope it was of some help for you and you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening and, have a nice day.